Hey all you rock and rowers, welcome back. It's Danger Dano here, making another Rise of Empires Ice and Fire video. And I know it's been a little while, but uh, I'm going to try to make a few more videos here. We're starting up Eden here right away. We got uh, uh, Eden coming up in eight days. So I'm going to try to make a daily video during Reign of Chaos just to show everybody the process on how to get up there. But today I wanted to touch on... Uh, what to do when you are given emperor, which that is me today. So I will actually say this is my first time ever getting emperor, which I thought that was pretty cool. You know, it's, uh, it's quite the honor receiving that. I appreciate it to the guys in my alliance. But there are a few responsibilities that emperor has to take care of. Uh, first of all, I'm sure you've all run into the instance where we're waiting on the Emperor to place the buildings. Um, now, if you are Emperor, you can go into the, the temple or the throne, I guess they call it here. And when we go into the... Throne, we see a few tabs. Uh, when you first come in here and the buildings are able to be placed, it's going to ask you if you want to place the buildings, which it's just a one click. You hit place buildings, the buildings will automatically place right where they are. And then we need to go in and appoint our heroes to the titles. So as you can see here, we've gone into the, the main screen. We click on the hero tab at the top. And then it gives us our list of different positions that we can give. Now I've already listed out a couple that were already pre-selected. Uh, Minister of Construction and Royal Guard were already selected for me. So I, I just appointed those guys and then the rest is kind of up to me. So what we would do is we would go and we would select a position. Click on a point. And as you can see, they get some pretty good buffs from this. So we hit a point, and then we have to search in a name. Now I have one selected for Queen that I think she's definitely been moving up in the world, and she's really improved her game, uh, really taken a leadership role, and shown her, her confidence and her capabilities. So I don't think I've ever seen her appointed as Queen. Uh, I think she might enjoy that, so I'm going to make Petra Susi queen. Uh, Prime Minister, again, some nice buffs, uh, mostly training speed for Prime Minister. Uh, Prime Minister gets a lot of points, too. It's, uh, it's a pretty, pretty important position. And I think... For Prime Minister, I'm going to select someone from our alliance. Just kind of go through a bit of the list and see who we might want to make a Prime Minister. I think this Carmageddon, good guy, he's very helpful. I think we're going to try to search him up although that's going to be quite interesting I don't know how to even input some of those letters but we're gonna try It's going to be very difficult to search this one up. But nonetheless, you're going to search up who you'd like to have Prime Minister, Barrister, Minister of Finance, Legion Master. Uh, Legion Master is typically somebody strong because it tends to give extra might and it's... Uh, 
kind of good for a KE sort of an instance. So obviously give it to somebody that is going to utilize those buffs. And then we also do have some slave positions. Now, I mean, typically I don't see these given out in our state very often. Uh, but it is a possibility, you know, and they all get debuffs at that point. So, you know, might taken away, resource income taken away. I'm not going to hand out any slave buffs right now. Uh, there's no reason to. We don't have anybody highly hated in the state. So we'll leave those slave buffs alone. Uh, oh, this is where you place the buildings. You would click on the title tab at the top and gives you the buildings down here at the bottom. And there's a place button. You hit place and that will put the buildings down for you. What else can we show you here? Uh, I can get the rankings. Uh, now there's also this uh, commemorate. So you can award these gifts, which I would recommend, you know, awarding these gifts to people in the Alliance or in the state. Um, typically, I see them handed out within the Alliance. Obviously, you know, treat your own Alliance better than the rest, but... Nonetheless, if you have some favorites that are in the other alliances that do well, uh, you know, sometimes they help to defend the throne or uh, help to take another throne uh, or, you know, strongly helping in KE, something like that. Maybe there's a there was a big Eden War and some people were really helping out. Those are the kind of people that I see get to uh, tend to get a lot of these gifts. Uh, so again, you would just hit grant. You would select somebody to hand this gift to, uh, hit send, and they will receive that. Always nice getting one of those gifts from the emperor. Now, the emperor gets that award, and this just shows the previous emperors. Uh, we cycle between the two alliances in the state, or the two main alliances, so, and that's actually a good point too. Um, sometimes it's best to share the throne with other alliances in the state. Uh, it, it, it works out well. It helps to keep the, uh, the morale up in the state, uh, and, and just basically keeps one alliance from owning the throne completely. Uh, it's nice that all alliances or the main alliances all get a, a chance to cycle through the throne. Uh, shows their importance as well. And there is a spot for a declaration here. I did write just the, the typical Knights of the Round Table. And uh, yeah, I think that pretty much takes us through what to do when you're Emperor. I still need to go through and sort out who I'm going to be handing these these positions too, and then, uh, yeah, I think that pretty well takes care of it. Hopefully that helps anybody that happens to get Emperor. Uh, if you have any questions, just throw them down in the comments below, and if you liked this video, like, subscribe, uh, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Hopefully uh, we'll, we'll do a run through Eden and show you guys how to crank out those level 16 tiles as quickly as possible, and Stay tuned for that because I'm going to try to do a very in-depth series uh, once Eden starts. So like I say, we have eight days until the start of Eden and then it'll be probably another week for matchmaking. So stay tuned for that. Uh, hopefully you'll see you guys all there and love you all. Bye.